Well, the audio is going. Why isn't this camera going? Fuck you, that's why. Apparently. That camera's going just fine. Haha, <laughs> I remember this fucking time. Well, maybe I'll just make the brownies in this tab. your oven to Betty Crocker. There it goes. Great. And I also put the Discord link here. Hello, everyone. I am back on my bullshit once more. Yeah, this is enough butter. <laughs> I love it when that happens. So good. So we also need eggums and Mayfield syrups. Yes, Ambrose, maple syrups. Syruped maple. Oh, he didn't like that one for some reason. Do you not like maple syrup? Do you hate it? <laughs> I bet he would like it if he tried it. He is a known crackhead for sugar scrub. Naughty boy committing crimes of flavor. I don't want allspice. I want cloves and I want freshly ground nutmeg. Where is my fresh nutmeg? Where is my bag of nutmeg? I have a whole bag of them. Where are the tiny nutlings? I don't know where the tiny nutlings are, Shane. I don't either. Ambrose is angry. He's so angry, I don't understand. Why? Why are you screaming at me? Oh! They were in the overflow. I have an overflow spice bin for whole spices and extra. I've got whole cardamom over here, I've got whole nutmeg. And then sugar. I think that's everything I need. Butter, sugar, some eggs, some cheese. I'll just got yeah, got everything. Cool. So first things first. I'm the realist. Now first things first. I need a pot. This little one will suit my needs nicely. And we are going to start melting a Buddha in a chocolate on a very low heat. So right now it's between the low and the three dot. Butter. 
one we had baking spray, but maybe I'm wrong. No, we do have baking spray. Hit the pan with that shit in a minute. And then it says five ounces of chocolate, but I don't feel like weighing that out. So I'm just going to use, and these isn't even baking, baker's chocolate. It's like a little sweet. It's mostly cacao though. I'm sure everything will turn out fine. Well, considering I'm also using a little bit more butter than what was called for, just a little bit. I think this will be fine. for myself, who knows. Give me chocolate. So yeah, I don't know why brownies with cream cheese are called princess brownies. I corner of chocolate. I will eat that later, I guess. Um, but my mom was telling me that she used to make what she called princess brownies uh, back before I was even born. Never made them since, so it was just like, okay, I see what happened. I am at fault here. sugar in there, but I don't have to taste it. Good lord. Ooh. Yeah, I might as well just eat some baker chocolate just then. Eh. Mm, I have regrets. Mm, dark chocolate, like super dark chocolate tastes like regret. I don't know why I grabbed a spoon. I need a heckin' spat. You can't have this. You can't have this. You've been mean to me all day. And by all day, I mean just that one time and then I've lorded it over you since. I was having a grand old time doing internet shopping and mindlessly petting him and then the minute I stopped he lunged for me and attacked me for no reason other than I stopped and he didn't like that. I guess I don't know like I wasn't petting him hard or anything like like, I pet him way harder before. It often seems to more be about, like, the motion of it. Mm. Like, that's the reason that glove used to get in. Mm, the glove. I don't know who designed that glove, but they need to be fired and held accountable for war crimes. It was this, like, felt glove that had elongated fingers and boning, like, plastic boning. In the, that, that helped to make it elongated and like it had like little toys and shit on the end of the fingers and something about that cat toy glove just made his little kitty mind snap and he would become a feral little bastard every time we brought it out and one of the few times like one of the few uh this is very early on in chain of mind's relationship and he he forgot to warn me about the glove and uh, immediately felt terrible about it, and then threw it away after the attack. Alright, so while this is continuing to melt down on the low heat, we are going 
to move some shit out of our way because oh my god, why did I do this to myself? We're gonna Why is your banana bread over here? Put your banana bread away. I don't know, it's bread it goes on top of the fridge, that's where bread goes. It's fine. The banana bread tried to uh, make an escape, but I stopped it. You're welcome. All right. I'm not entirely certain which attachment I want to use quite yet. Definitely not the bread hook, but I don't know if I want the paddle or the whisk yet. Uh, but first, oh God, Mr. Hart, that's sugar. Because after tasting that chocolate, I realized, oh yeah, this is, this is going to need it. Most of the time, like, I'm okay cutting sugar out of recipe uh, almost entirely. But in this case, I think it's going to be okay to just follow the recipe. One, one and three quarters cup sugar. <laughs> sugar. And then this can go away forever, or until the next time I bake a sweet. Oh. Eh, stupid face. All right, and then two teaspoons vanilla. We're not even going to measure that. We're just going to look at this thing and work. That's probably two teaspoons. Probably. And then three. Oh, someone balanced the egg carton. Thank you. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, oh no, because I, I gotta uh, use one egg later for the cream cheese. So I'll just. Mm, oh no. Um, shit. I'm gonna go get a scalpel. And the egg white has fused with the foam. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just going to cut the carton. With my exacto blade or scalpel. Or maybe I'm dumb. That also happens sometimes too. Sometimes I have to dumb. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. Oh, shoot. It's. How are you stuck on the sides? How are you stuck on the sides? I know. This is some shit. I'm going to end up breaking all the eggs just trying to get this one bastard out. Seriously, where the heck did you get stuck that you're becoming like this? Ah, shoot. This is fine. I just don't want to waste eggs. I reign supreme. Me. I am the supreme. No one, no one's gonna talk about what happened here today. I don't want to hear it. You have all been sworn to secrecy over what has happened here. Do not want to hear it. I still don't know why these are called princess brownies. I don't know what it is about the cream cheese that uh, gives them the royal designation of princess. 
And does that mean there's a whole court of other brownies? King brownies? Queen brownies? Jester brownies? Duchess? Marquess brownies? Dauphine brownies, if we're going French? Maybe I can invent the brownie court. Yes, yes, I am the lord of the court of brownies. Decided I'm going to go with a paddle. I could not hear you. Better? Yes. Okay. My hands are now covered in chocolate, as is tradition. All right, now I am to get a bigger spatula, a better spatula. There are no better spatulas. Here is a better spatula. My crafting life elsewhere. Alrighty. The chocolate has now been incorporated. The chocolate and the butter has been incorporated into our main mix here. I would offer you this beater shame, but it's got raw egg all over it, and I mean, like, that's never stopped you before, but, like, I mean, if you want, you're, well, actually, no, I bet the hot chocolate and butter has tempered the egg somewhat, so it's probably back up to safe temperatures for consumption. I can't guarantee it tastes good, though, because of the, how dark the chocolate, no, creature! You haven't had the sugar yet? I, I did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Foul creature of darkness! Alright, well, come here and get it, because I don't want to drip chocolate over the floor. Uh, no. Just 
Because I don't want to drop that chocolate all over the floor. Alright. I'm going to scrape down the sides of the bowl. Yeah, not really there. <laughs> not really sweet at all yet? No. Well, hmm. Don't talk to me. I'm still very cross with you. So if that's how much the rest calls for, then... Yeah, it, it, it was. Then it probably sweetens up in the baking process. I mean, maybe. And and definitely the cream cheese will be very sweet, too. Like, oh, yeah. I can definitely make sure that the cream cheese is sweet. Yeah. And the dark chocolate with the sweetened cream cheese, I think, will be a really good flavor balance. Yeah. I just... At this point in the process, yeah. decisions can be made and changed. <laughs> and now I'm going to stir in the one cup all-purpose flour. And the reason why I'm doing it like this is because if you just go in there and just scoop out the flour, it will be compact and you will actually get more flour than you want it. So what you want to do is just take big spoonfuls, pop it in there loosely, don't tap it down or anything, and then you will actually get a closer measurement to what you actually want for the recipe. And since this will be brownie batter, this should be very uh, thick. It should be a thickum. I'm actually debate. Do we have any square baking dishes left? Uh, actually debating about adding just a little bit more flour, considering I had to add a little bit more butter and chocolate. So it's probably this feels a little wetter than brandy batter should be. Yeah. And the reason why I'm folding in the flour as opposed to beating it or whisking it is uh, futzing with flour for too long will develop the gluten and make for a tougher product. So, like, if you've got to, I'm just going to add this in a spoonful at a time now, uh, add flour to a pastry like this, you want to work with it as little as possible. So folding as opposed to uh, a vigorous beating. <laughs> Is preferable. Okay, let's look at our baking dishes. Excuse me, girl. Our baking dishes are going to be either in the white cabinet or the cabinets underneath the laptop currently. Yeah. Oh, let's see. I don't think anything square in here. Yeah, this feels a little. This feels better. This feels about right. Just a little there. I don't think we want a brownie loaf. I mean, I don't not want a brownie loaf, but... <laughs> uh, that's a big rectangular one. Like, it's fine if we don't have a square one. Yeah, I don't but for some reason my heart was singing squares. I don't think we do. Alright. We'll just have to cut it into squares out of the rectangle. Okay. All right, now I'm going to hit the crap out of this pan with some Baker's Joy. Let me tell you, this does spark joy. My products come out beautifully. Get me the excess water. Make sure to really get in the corners because that is your problem child. Yes, my baked goods are all my children, and I am Kronos. I will eat them. For fear that they will rise up and usurp me. One day my baked good will kill me. If the legends are true. Plop this all right in y'all. Right in y'all. All 
and I'm just gonna kind of let it disperse on its own until I come back with the cream cheese, then I'll level it out. But for now, I'm just gonna let it ooze as its heart desires. It shall ooze in peace. And once again, I am already debating about future projects. As y'all know, since this week is savory, that must mean next week's got to be what? I was thinking about savory week, though. My mind was already on savory. I desire a week. You know what? I think I'll start out with a fork first. It'll be easier to mush. Let me mash. And then you will go back to the corner from whence you came. I will wipe you down later. Don't, don't scare me like that. Don't, don't. No, no, no. Alright, so for the cream cheese mixture, I think I'll add in the egg last, so that way I can taste it along the way and make sure it is the correct level of sweetness. And for the cream cheese, instead of sugar, for this particular batch of princess brownies, I'm going to be using maple syrup to sweeten it. Because Shane is a good old northern boy at heart and loves his maple candies. And the minute I suggested it, his eyes glazed over with syrup. It was truly horrifying. Took sand damage. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I do think it will be a very interesting uh, experiment regardless. I always like experimenting with various sweeteners and whatnot and flavor profiles. And I thought some fall flavored chocolate brownies would be pretty dope. I, I'm a dumbass. I got syrup on the handle of the fork and now my hands are going to be sticky. So first I'm just going to try to blend these two things together. But right now it's kind of acting like oil and water and not wanting to really do much, but as I work with it, I'm hoping it'll combine at least a little bit. I think maybe next week I'll demonstrate two different ways to make ramen. Not that there's, you know, only the two ways, but like just ways that I've figured out that I enjoy. And with the... Uh, next week you were talking about doing the uh, Thanksgiving special, though. Or not Thanksgiving, uh... Val Valentine's uh, Day special! Great, right, I already got you and Mom hyped for Euros! Yeah. Right, okay, so yeah, recant everything. Uh, that'll be a future project then, what I was just mentioning. Uh, next week is actually going to be our Valentine's Day special, and I'm going to make lamb and falafel euros with hummus and baba ganoush to go on the side. Dimitri, don't watch that special. I can't take, my, my, my poor soft heart cannot take criticism from a real Greek person. Though I doubt you would actually criticize me. Because you are a good person. Some I'm sure if there wasn't any criticism, it would be fairly constructive. Yeah, that's true. This culinary school's just fucking ruined me because everyone wants to be goddamn Gordon Ramsay. And not everyone is receptive to the teaching styles of Mr. Ramsay. Because for every teacher there is a student, and vice versa. And, oh boy, am I, am I learning style? 
and his teaching style are not conducive to one another. And the teachers I had were all pretty much bastards. And now I'm just, oh, that fresh nut bag already smells so good. One of these days we're going to get smell-o-vision. <laughs> One of these days, dang it. That'd be uh, pretty amazing if that's for Twitch. Right? Oh, God, but, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ah, there's some also horrifying implications there. very specific channels. You gotta get specific and like permissions from Twitch. You gotta get the smell vision badge. <laughs> you gotta be a certified smell vision streamer. All right, so I'll give that a stir in. All right, now I think I'm gonna go and try and find that least. I'm very excited for these brownies already. But yeah, these are kind of like, I, the more I was looking at this, the more I was realizing, oh, basically cheesecake. We're adding cheesecake to brownies. Yeah. All right. First taste. add a touch more maple syrup, but the spices are on point. Agree on all counts. Agree on all counts. You heard him, ladies and gentlemen. He might not have a shilling to his name. He is the pettiest optimist. I don't know why my brain went there either, okay? I was just, my friggin' steampunk, uh, uh, music, Spotify, my steampunk Spotify. Because, like, the song starts out with, ladies and gentlemen, he, he might not have a shilling to his name, but he is the penniless optimist. And there's like so many bloody remixes of that, just that one song, and I don't know why. Alright, now we add the eggy. So I'm also going to be making a fresh pita bread next week for the euros. I'm just going to take all the eggs out and then drain the whole thing. Hold my huevos. Alright, there we go. Alright, where I was going with that was I have been debating about dyeing the pita pink and or red for Valentine's Day. And I haven't really given much thought how to dye it other than food dye, but I don't want to use food dye. Because our roommate will be partaking and they are not particularly fond of processed food dyes. I have to think of a way that uh, dye the pita without resorting to chemical based food dyes. Probably, but like tomatoes, uh, so from my experience, when you add dried tomatoes mm -hmm. to something, it turns out more orangey. 
than pinkish. Like, and, and, oddly enough, tomatoes have more of an orange tone than anything else. Yeah. Now, if I just wanted to go straight up red, uh, using beets would do it. Getting dried beetroot. That would do it. And it wouldn't, uh, since I would only be using enough of it just to, to, to dye the bread, it shouldn't impart uh, a flavor of any kind. Now the question is, where the first am I going to get dried beets at this point in time? Alright, the cream cheese is mixed. I'm getting out, trying to get out. Spatula to oh that oil oh, is thick. Oh, it's thick. It's a thick batter. Okay. I'm thinking as it cooled, the chocolate started to uh, solidify a bit, and that helped with the the thickums. All right, and then these are. This is gonna be more like fudge, I think, at this point. God damn. Yeah, I know you like a, a fudgy brownie. All right. Now I'm going to get a spoon and I'm gonna drop blobules, some blobages, throughout the batter, and then. I will swirl them. I will swirl the blobs. Because who the heck doesn't like swirls? Love swirls in my products. Absolutely pretty, pretty swirls. The way I say squirrels sounds like the way I say squirrels. Well, heck, I'm just, I want to do squirrels, but I have so much cream cheese batter left that I'm just going to dump it on top. Maybe we'll do it more like a bar then instead of a squirrel as much as I would love to have a squirrel. It might behoove us just to have layers then, so it'll be like cream cheese with like a brownie crust, I guess, at this point. Hopefully that's not too disappointing. Okay, so I was waiting for the main... For the, for the person who was mostly going to be eating this. To pipe up. Just going to spread it around. And then we'll have our fall flavored themed princess brownies. Still kind of wondering what other brownie royalty would be like. Like, if I had to pick flavors for various royalty. Not that, you know... Well, because I guess if Princess is cream cheese plus whatever flavors, then, like, what would go in the other brownies, I guess? All right, and that's going to go in there for 40 minutes. And there we go. Magician brownies would either be mint or have pop rocks. No in between. 
feels like, like if like the court magician. I definitely feel like would have like some pizzazz to his brownie. So it's got to be like either like refreshingly cool and minty, or it's got to get fucking pop rocks. Like fireworks. Pizza, pizza. King brownies. King brownies. A kingly flavor. Perhaps a wine based sauce to go on top. Like maybe, maybe like a wine. It'd have to be like a, like a, like a coolie or something like, like like something really thick that you'd put on afterwards. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Prince brownies would have peanut butter. That would that would be a peanut butter type deal, I think. I don't know what queen brownies would be like. Strawberries, a strawberry based uh, topping of some kind. <laughs> Cheese. That would be the court jester. Then it would be like a cheese that actually goes with chocolate, so like mascarpone or a uh, brie. Well, but that's different. Like, cream cheese is like an expected cheese to have for chocolate, I feel like, for, for, for chocolate-based desserts. Oh, Freya, the goblins stomping again. The children upstairs have been going buck wild all day, and I don't know what's going on up there. They're going full ham. Oh, and our apartment continues to have misadventures. We had more uh, mishaps with water. Instead of it being our neighbor's fault this time, instead our own toilet decided to betray us and leak out the back near the tank. Ugh. Because man, when we have problems here, they like to hit us one right after the other and then leave us with long periods of quiet. Oh, sorry, Fred. I booped your dang snoop by accident with my foot. Or rather with my calf. Yeah, I hit you with my calf, not my foot. Poor delicate baby. And as always, I would like to emphasize the importance of cleanup as you go, because you don't really want to clean up after you've had your first taste of whatever you've made. You just want to relax and enjoy it. So it's just best to just attempt and power through everything. chocolate on my bang mixer, which is also to be expected. I don't know what which cursed me as a child to have chocolate get everywhere anytime I attempt to use it, but without fail, even as an adult, chocolate will somehow get everywhere on me. It'll get on my face, my hands, my shoulders sometimes. Like, it's really weird, and I don't know how or why the chocolate decides to migrate in this fashion on me. And I'm pretty certain I was cursed as a child, and that there is no other explanation. That does seem to be most reasonable explanation. Most reasonable explanation. I'm going to return my exacto blade. Yes, yeah, thank you.
Ambrose in this new place is proving to be quite the escape artist. And that's all I needed. I'm going to make myself a black cherry and peach beverage. Hmm. I feel like our dishwasher isn't cleaning as well as it used to. Really do not understand the enjoyment of carbonation. It hurts when you burp. Like someone with no manners. I feel like this is a trick. Because when I look at this, this just looks like water, but is in fact peach juice and a white cloth. Now a straw for some big sippies. That's refreshing. All right. Oh, and I'm finally going to get myself a little recipe box to keep all of my little note cards that I've been writing on for the stream. I can put them in the box. Uh, and these are all my favorite recipes to begin with, so I guess I might as well start compiling them somewhere. Because I have so many cookbooks, but then I've only got like a handful of recipes out of each cookbook that I actually like using on a regular basis. Mm, yes, brownie. Get out of my beverage, thank you. Oh man, I'm so excited for Monday! Because our stimulus finally came in and profit sharing from Shane's work finally came in too. So now I have all of our bills have been paid off. I mean, we, we pay our bills monthly. Rent's been taken care of. Everything's been taken care of. So I have a fun budget again. And so I just spent a whole bunch of money getting uh, quality, quality of life improvement uh, things. <laughs> I got, I got like a cute little ivy garland that I can hang up around the apartment and I got more tank tops because I would like to have more tank tops, just plain black ones. It's going to look like I'm wearing the same thing, but in fact it's just the same shirt three different times. Uh, I'm going to get a tea kettle, I'm going to get a huge heated blanket which I can drape over my whole crafting chair so that'll soothe my back while I'm hunched over painting miniatures. Would be perfect. Perfect. <sighs> I'm thinking about putting the we'll be back thing up again because we still got 30 minutes and I don't know if I have it in me to just stand here and pontificate for 30 minutes. Yeah, it's just I, I've cleaned up, I've the, the brownies are in the oven. We can make different screen that is similar to uh, that one. Can it have a countdown timer on it? I don't know. Figure it out, Mr. Manager. Countdown timer. Uh, either way, we can certainly say what time you'll be back. Hmm. Let's see, it's 6.50 right now, so I'll be back by... Uh,
Yep, there you go. We're back. Hello. No one's here. That's fine. I'm going to pull out the brownies anyways. Oh, well, it looks really good. And it's not jiggling, so I know for certain that the cream cheese is done at the very least. Oh, you smell delicious. Sorry, I was taking a minute to listen to it. It's bubbling a little, and it's got that nice little sizzle. So now I'm going to take a little stab and implement. Just take a fondue fork and test out from the very middle. And it came out clean, so we're good here. All right, Shane, I'm gonna get out the ice cream. Yeah, I saved I saved the ice cream uh, from uh, Solera's burger because we, we got ice cream from that company that, that owns Solera and the burger place, and it's their their chocolate cookie crumble ice cream. Yes, and and Shane already ate all of his, but. I was smart, <laughs> and I saved mine. I was I was thinking of the long con. All right. I'm assuming you would like a square, mister. Absolutely. All right. I'm assuming you actually want a corner. I hear a brown... I don't understand the, the brownie yeah. corner nonsense. Yeah. I love, I love. Those scratch the glass. Do you mind if I? They will. Uh, I, I don't know what you want me to do. Uh, honestly, a butter knife will probably cut through it. Just yes, kinda. if it's just soft. All right. Now I'm going to need like a spoon or something. <laughs> And I used the uh, Baker's Joy baking spray, so this should, yeah, that came out cleanly. Almost like joy baking. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to get out the ice cream scoop. I guess it must be another one. Yeah, the, the one that, yeah, that one. Favorite one. Yeah. And I even told Shane, because I am a good and benevolent wife, that I would share my leftover ice cream, even though he'd eaten all of his already. So you're gonna say benevolent dictator? <laughs> I mean, six half dozen of the other, whatever the saying is. And then we just pop it on there. All right, your brownie with ice cream, Mister. Would you like a fork or a spoon? Uh, spoon, please. All right, and then I want this piece right here. Let's see. 
my ice cream. I'm going to have more scoops. Maybe I'll just cover it with ice cream. Not even God can stop me. <laughs> yes. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted for dinner. <laughs> All righty. So this is my fall-themed princess brownie recipe. Oh, you you already dug in? Yeah. I didn't know if it was going to be cool enough or not yet. I mean, not really, but... <laughs> Um, but, but how's the brownie bit? Is it fudgy as anticipated? I think because it's, um, still cooling, it's mm. a little bit, uh, softer. Mm. But I imagine it'll get... I meant, like, flavor-wise, I guess. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm. Those different surfaces are cool. Oh, absolutely. But no, but before I even put it in the oven, after I put the cream cheese, because I was trying to put the cream cheese layer on it, the, the... The brownie batter had thickened up quite a bit in the time that I was mixing up the cream cheese batter. I could tell from the density and just how much it was struggling to spread out that uh, it was going to be a problem. But yeah, I used I, I freshly ground nutmeg, some cloves, and my fancy cinnamon, and and the good maple syrup instead of sugar. And I thought because I didn't get Baker's chocolate, the chocolate I had gotten was going to be, like, too sweet. No. <laughs> I, I made the mistake of trying a corner of it, and I was just like, wow, just immediate regret. <laughs> this is basically Baker's chocolate. I don't know why they're not calling it Baker's chocolate. Like, it pretty much is. It was the uh, Ghirardelli uh, Midnight variety, so, like, 92% cacao. Oh. Dark. Very dark. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. Mm. But yeah, I really do like these fall flavors with the chocolate. It's very good. Well, this is it, everybody. I'm going to go enjoy myself. I will see you guys next Friday, hopefully. Uh, we might have some issues with snow and whatnot coming our way. But if you do see me, we will be making Valentine's Day uh, themed euros. We will be having... Hopefully, hopefully, I'm hoping I can manage this, but I'm planning on getting some uh, beetroot powder to dye the, the pitas pink or red. And we're going to have lamb and falafel and baba ganoush and tzatziki. And maybe I'll make my own hummus too. We'll see. We'll see how ambitious I'm feeling in a week. <laughs> but until then, I love y'all. Stay safe. Uh, eat food, drink water, take your meds. Uh, love you. Bye.